We're here with Ravi Shastri, former Indian cricketer, coach, now commentator. Um, we've got the England India Test Series coming up. Um, going into the Test Series, what do you make of the, the results of both England and India and the, the side that they're going to play? I think they're both in very similar situations. You know, if, you, if you look at it, teams in transition, young sides, India a very young side. You know, touring England uh, for the first time will be a lot of players. So it will be a new experience. But I still feel it could be a series where India will compete better than they've done in the past. I was going to say, will that inexperience be prove po a positive thing? Because going there, there's always been... That's the, that's the way I look at it. You know, we had all the experience in the world uh, last time around and got thrashed. So, you know, why not test out, you know, new young talent, you know, who have no baggage. They come with no baggage of the past and, uh, you know, let them lose, let them go out and play freely. Who specifically from the Indian, you talked about um, the bowling lineup, that's been a problem in the past. Who specifically do you think will, will have an impact, big impact on the series? Definitely um, Virat Kohli. There's Pujara Kohli who done well against England in the past. There's Rohit Sharma there as well, Shikhar Dhawan at the top. I mean, these are the batsmen to look out for. Gautam Gambhir is a part of the team. but. Uh, I think the challenge for India will be to get themselves into a position to take 20 wickets. Hence, the composition of the side is crucial. You know, I, I see the captain taking more responsibility as a batsman. I think it's very important. Dhoni positions himself at some stage in the series at number six, which allows him to play that extra bowler and gives him the chance then to take 20 wickets. And it's a five-match test series. What impact does that have on it? Because quite often you see teams who just have Sri Lanka, they come and play two. It's going to be a long, long summer uh, oh. and a lot of cricket being played. And it'll be a challenge. It'll be a test uh, for the, of character as well as the fitness of the young bowlers. See, apart from being inexperienced, you know, you've got a very young attack there who has to go through five test matches. So you need uh, bowlers who are fit. You know, you need the bowlers who are form. And that's why what will help is the weather. If the weather stays hot and the pitches get dry and India allowed to play two spinners, that will take a little bit of the load of the uh, faster bowlers as well. And England come in having lost their last, their last test series. What, would that be a, a positive thing or a negative thing? Because, I mean, they could come in and they'll, they'll be wanting to win, obviously. They can't go a whole... A I think they'll come in very positive. You know, they'll come in, yes, you know, they lost a tight series against Sri Lanka. But, uh, you know, that will probably make them more determined. And I think no one would be more determined than uh, Alistair Cook himself. You know, he's a he's, there's plenty of debate on whether he should captain or not. And uh, from India's point of view, they look to exploit that. You know, and allow the pressure to build by getting him cheaply. There's always been the saying about subcontinent teams coming to England, struggling obviously the conditions. Um, does that play a big part on the, on the players' minds at all coming in? It does. You know, if you get typical English conditions where the ball is swinging and seeming. You know, then it's a test for any player, you know, coming here for the first time. But if you see conditions are changing these days, you know, if you looked at the England Sri Lanka series, the pitches were dry. I mean, there were low tracks, you know, where the ball wasn't doing too much. So, you know, in those conditions, uh, India will, you know, fancy themselves. Would you say that either side are a clear favourite? Obviously, India. I would say England much. and England start as clear. Well, you've got to give it to the home team. Home team, home conditions, when you look at the balance of the two sides, will start as favourites. But if India can get off to a good start, then I think they'll compete as the summer goes on. Because if the weather stays the way it is, come the month of uh, end July, August, pitches get a little drier, the spinners come into play, then you could see India really competing there. And just finally, Ravi, obviously the big news uh, this week is Lou Vincent coming out and, mm -hmm. uh, and apologising. Uh, admitting being a cheat. What is your view on match fixing at the moment? Obviously, we've got a lot of people coming out. And there's, yeah, a lot, there's a lot of focus on it. Is that a good thing that it's, it's been? No, it has to be. The, the endeavour should be to put deterrence in place that uh, you know sort the problem out. You know, you you'll always get the weak element. You know, who could uh, still be around. But in India, like uh, what we are proposing is uh, to try and put something uh, in the constitution. You know, that acts as a serious deterrent, you know, like where even you can uh, start criminal prosecution, you know, against the individual if he, if he does, you know, what, what uh, you know, people have been doing. You know, where you make fixing uh, a kind of thing which can lead to criminal prosecution, where the guy is not just uh, put on a life plan, but can get into the clink for a few years. 
uh, that 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 will put the fear of God, you know, yeah. up any individual, and uh, probably not quite eradicate the problem, but still, you know, at least that kind of deterrent in place. Then you know, anyone wants to still do it. Good luck to them.